Right, so Bill Burr had a special just now came out. Um, I don't know if it was Netflix or somewhere else, but it was extremely offensive. And extremely offensive um, comedy is my favorite comedy. And apparently he did something on women um, failing the WNBA. Now I started not to react to this, I'm gonna be honest with you, because when I saw this, I was like, oh man, I should react to this. And then I see like 1500 other reaction channels reacting to it. <laughs> so I'm thinking already my audience has seen this a million times already, but if you haven't, let this be your first time you watch this with me because uh, we're gonna have fun checking this out. Uh, now I do understand this is all video, I mean audio. So uh, let's get to it. I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes? Right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> they had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> why is that? Uh, <laughs> that is a conundrum. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets. <laughs> Nobody is going to women's soccer games. You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena. 1,500 people show up. That's not a good night. The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig. <laughs> I'm not saying no professional female athletes, Serena Williams, the women in the UFC, you know, but nobody's watching your fucking sport. And then you're gonna come and you're gonna get mad at fucking men. They keep doing that shit. Why are you yelling at us? They're yelling at us because men watch sports. And regardless if it's men's sports or women's sports, they want us to watch the sports and keep it alive. <laughs> they don't understand that their participation and support is needed. It's required in order for it to succeed. It's actually needed and required for it. And actually, um, not only that, but when they watch it, then they start teaching their young ladies, their girls that they're raising how to play the sport and then raising up more and more and more and more basketball and soccer players. So that's what happens with this, man. They come and you're gonna get mad at fucking men. They keep doing that shit. Why are you yelling at us? It's not our fucking job. Everything's our fault. It's not my fucking Everything's job our fault. to give a fuck <laughs> about women's soccer, okay? I have men's sport to pay attention to. This is, it's your bullshit, right? <laughs> Dude, look at the WNBA. Dude, nobody in the WNBA got COVID. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> they have been playing in front of three to 400 people a night for a quarter of a century. <laughs> Not to mention, it's a male subsidized league. We gave you a fucking league. None of you showed up. Where are all the feminists? That place should be packed with feminists. Faces painted, wearing jerseys, slashing their titties. <laughs> going fucking nuts like the guys do. In the upper deck with their big beer titty. Am I on the jumbo tron? Am I doing it? That's correct. That is correct. You don't need to be showing, showing your titties, ladies, but show some support, man. Y'all are the seat, and y'all are the first ones to be all on the radio, all on TV, out there marching, talking about women's sports are being, they're being treated unfairly. Women athletes are being treated unfairly. Yes, they are by you. <laughs> they're being, uh, being treated unfairly by you, by us too, but sometimes you guys need to take the lead all you listen if you take the lead trust me men will follow because wherever there are women there are men how do you think they fill up bars all the time or fill up um um, um, um clubs all the time they make sure that women are there matter of fact they will even let the women in for free just to get men up in there if you lead the charge i mean it doesn't have to be like um out of the whole arena of 300,000 seats, you don't have to fill up 150,000 of them. Just fill up mm, 15,000. 
You know what I mean? That's a huge chunk right there. 15,000, 20,000 consistently. And trust me, the men will come. They will show up. Men love to be where women are. None of you, none of you went to the fucking games. None of you. You all, you failed them. Not me. Not men. <laughs> Women failed the WNBA. Ladies, ladies, name your top five all-time WNBA players of all time. Come on. <laughs> That's it. Name five WNBA teams. Name the WNBA team in your fucking city. You can't do it. Women can't name five women athletes. You're asking them to name five WNBA players. They can't name five WNBA teams. They can't name five women teams, period. They might not even be able to name five sports that women are in. It's, 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 it's wild, man. It's wild. I don't know why. Well, honestly, I mean, women, it's like this. The women, not all women are interested in um male dominated sports so let's put that out there not all women are interested in male dominated sports and they're not going to run and start being interested in it and force themselves to be interested in it simply because um the the the, the tomboys of women um the ones who grew up liking um the same kind of sports that we like the the physical and get out there and get dirty and sweaty type of sports that we enjoyed those those young ladies were 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 special in their own right. So when they started playing football and basketball and and soccer and whatnot, they were special. They were special. Y'all know little kids leagues. Usually, when our kid want to play something, the very first thing we put them in is soccer because oh, we're just gonna sit down and talk to the parents and they just get to run around and not do whatever they want to do. And some of them stick to it, but most of them just. Mm, you know what I mean? They just run around and kick the ball and flail around and this, that, and other. But most times, women can't name five female athletes until the Olympics come. When it's Olympics time, are they on it? They are supportive of women, women's sports. Yeah, let's go. I don't know if they watch the WNBA Olympic Games, um, but they support everything else. I'm, I'm certain of it. You don't give a fuck about them. They play night in and night out in front of nobody. It's a fucking tragedy, right? And in meanwhile, you look at the Kardashians, they're making billions. You know those Real Housewife shows? They're making money hand over fist because that's, that's right. what women are watching. And the money listens. You don't want to watch this shit, you watch this shit. They just shoot it over there, drowning these whores in money, in purses, in shoes, in Botox. It's he said drowning these whores in money. Now they over there buying purses and shoes and Botox. Listen, again, these are things that women are interested in. Women are interested in that type of drama and that type of, you know, um, that, that, that type of um, um, high class living that they might not be able to afford at the time. Some of them might be able to afford at the time. And even though they don't like them, they do want to occasionally see them living in a certain type of way or carrying a bag or wearing something that they like or wearing, wearing the figure that they wish they had or having that long flowy hair that they wish they had. I don't know. Or they might be watching it because they want to see them fight against each other. They want to see how crazy they are. They want to feel like, hey, you know what? The poor people aren't the only people who are crazy. Look at these rich people. They crazy as hell. Look at them. And they love it. They probably like to see the insecurities of these women who are wildly successful but still don't feel pretty unless they shoot all types of chemicals and stuff all up in their face to feel pretty until they change, literally change out every single body part as if they're Mr. Or Mrs. Potato Head is what they're doing. They're changing out every single body part. Titties fake, ass fake, vagina vagina probably fake, toes probably fake. I know their lips is fake. I know their cheekbones are fake. I know their chin bones are fake. Have y'all seen Dagon Kardashian lately? Have you seen Khloe Kardashian? Khloe Kardashian looks absolutely nothing like she used to look. Nothing like she used to look. Matter of fact, 
We're going to post a side-by-side -side picture right here. She looks nothing like she used to look, man. Nothing. So sometimes women like to look at that type of stuff. Now, we're talking about basketball. Let's keep it real. Bill Burr is hilarious, but this is not a, this is not a fair comparison. It's not. Y'all want to yell and bitch about it? Then you need to get out there and watch it. Yeah, I say the same thing too. I was saying the same thing to my wife. Whenever I say that to my wife, she get triggered. And next thing you know, we're going back and forth. And I'm like, ah, I got to bow out gracefully because, you know, I knew that I was starting some sugar honey iced tea, but I decided to do it anyway. Why? Because, you know, that's sometimes that's what men got to do. That's if that's the excitement that we're going to get for the night, then, hey, a fight is what I'm going to get. And it's going to be good. It's going to be juicy. And I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> but I'm not going to take it too far. But at the end of the day, man, we know that this is not really a fair comparison, but Bill Burr is absolutely hilarious, and that's why we're checking it's it out. It's raining. It's raining money. Raining money. Yeah. So, the money listens. You'd rather watch that shit. Real Housewives, bunch of women just tearing each other down. Well, maybe that's why your husband left you. Maybe that's why your husband left. That's why you can't have kids, bitch. <laughs> Why your ass is as flat as your titties, bitch, right? That's the message you sent. We would rather watch that than see a bunch of women come together as a, as a team and try to achieve a common goal. We would rather watch them actually fucking destroy each other. Yeah. No, no, no. And then in the end, you come back and you fucking yell at guys. Like, and it's like, all right, so let me get this straight. I have to buy you a drink, stop the ax murderer from coming through the fucking window. And I have to watch WNBA games for you? Like, when are you gonna pick up your end of the couch? <laughs> All right, so, I mean, that's absolutely hilarious, but come on, guys, let's. So, some of y'all be lying, man. I, I watch the comments, I read the comments. Sometimes I don't. I don't comment because it, it seemed like a lot of. A lot of the comments that I'm reading come from a dark place. It sounds like you. Some of you are coming from a real dark and, and, and argumentative place where you're not even trying to be understanding of the side that's being um, being um, poked fun of. And if we'll keep it a buck, that means keep it a hundred. That means um, be genuine about it, completely 100% transparent about it um, and understanding that, yo, women aren't interested in no basketball, man, unless it's men playing. That's the only time that women look at it, but the same with my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. My wife picks out her sports teams by who's the most attractive. That's how she picks out her, fort, uh, her, uh, her football team. That's how she picks out her favorite basketball team. By uh, who is the most attractive. If you ask her who's gonna win, she's gonna look on the floor and she's gonna say, hmm, oh no, they kinda cute. I want them to win. And that's how she picks them. That's why a lot more women go to um, go to male dom I mean um, um, to the NBA games and, and to sporting events that are male dominated because they want to see the men. Not only do they want to see the men that are playing, but they want to see the men that are there. But again, ladies, WNBA, if you want to support the WNBA, it's not gonna take all of you to really get out there and do it but it's going to take um a, a bunch of you to at least start it and, and just to get it started because you just need to fill up the stadium by 10 percent, and the men will do the rest as long as you're in there not playing with you man they want to see you in there if they see if they don't know that you're there if they don't know that you're representing they're not going to come women are powerful man y'all can get it done if you want to but Women have been consistent, fellas and ladies who believe what Bill Burr is saying. Women have been extremely consistent. They've always been into drama. They've always been into the cattiness. They've always been into hair and clothes and makeup and all the girly stuff for the most part. For the most part, not all of them, but for the most part. And we know that no matter how old we are getting, when you, if you're on Facebook, then you know this to be true. People are still acting like they're in the damn sixth grade. It's still, everything's still a popularity contest. Everyone's still catty. Everyone's still talking behind everyone's back and forming little unions to little, little cool clubs and cool groups that nobody else can get in. Y'all already know that. Nothing is really changing, man. People are just being able to do it, um, do it more, they're more sneaky about it now. And that's it. 
They're more sneaky about it. And the people who weren't so popular back in the day, they are they are really making sure that they succeed in life so that they can rub everybody's face in it. Look at my new house. Look at my husband. Look at my cars. Look at my bags. Look at my feet. Look at my spa that I'm going to. Look at my massage I'm getting. Look at my glowy skin. All of that stuff, man. Look at my kids. My kids got straight A's. My kids got straight B's. They got straight D's. They got straight D's. You know what I mean? That's at the end of the day, we already know. Women are far more consistent than men. So no, they're not. No, they're not. Because men have always been men. We always been ridiculous and we always um, been competitive and um, we always n never really gave a crap unless it meant protecting the person who cares about us. You know what I mean? So everybody's every everybody's the same, man. What, 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 what we got to say about that? It is what it is. All right. But per usual, I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual, man. Love y'all.